Hello, and welcome to our monthly update about the Stellantis LG Energy Battery Plant Nexstar in Windsor, Ontario, and the advantages and disadvantages of electric vehicles. Stellantis, an LG Energy solution, announced a joint venture to build a 5 billion Canadian lithium-ion battery production plant in Windsor, Ontario which will be the first large-scale domestic electric vehicle battery manufacturing facility in Canada. The plant is expected to create 2,500 new jobs and supply batteries to Stellantis plants across North America. It is an exciting yet daunting time in automotive history for Canada and the Windsor-Essex County region. My name is Bob Jones. I will be your host for this informational video. Like and subscribe to follow this monthly update. I appreciate the help and thank you for the support. As we can see, the construction of Nexstar EV Battery Gigafactory in Windsor is moving along at a healthy pace towards the 2025 completion date. EVs are currently the most popular alternative to gas-powered vehicles and the technology is improving rapidly. Electric vehicles produce zero emissions which means they are better for the environment than traditional internal combustion engine ICE or gas-powered vehicles. EVs are cheaper to operate, require less maintenance and electricity is cheaper than gasoline. Electric vehicles are quieter and can accelerate faster than gas vehicles. All good points for the push to an all-EV society. However, there are concerns that need consideration. The EV's fuel for clean energy is likely produced from fossil fuels. The charging infrastructure is not as widespread as gas stations, making it difficult to find a charging station when needed. Charging the electric vehicle is an issue with condo owners, apartment rentals, and homeowners without reasonable access to an outlet, like parking on the street. EVs have a limited distance, which can create range anxiety for drivers wanting to travel long distances, recharging also increasing travel time. The strain that an all-EV society could put on the energy grid especially during peak demand periods, is concerning too. Sales of electric vehicles are slowing. There has been a reduction in sales for the past two quarters. The upfront cost of an electric vehicle is more expensive than gas-powered vehicles. A similar gas car retails for 48,000 US and an electric car retail closer to 60,000 US. Add growing interest rates and inflation, it's hard for the average Canadian to afford the purchase. The battery life of an EV is limited to around 10 years, and replacing the battery can be expensive. Gas cars are reliable, cheaper, and the life of the purchase is closer to 20 years. EVs have high voltage electrical systems that require specialized training to service safely. However, as the popularity of EVs increases, more mechanics will become trained in EV maintenance and repair. The next star battery plant in Windsor, Ontario has the potential to create thousands of jobs and supply batteries to Stellantis plants across North America. Even with the current challenges, EVs are coming. Unless a newer technology is developed that could jeopardize the EV industry. For example, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles that produce zero emissions and have a longer range than EVs. However, they are more expensive to produce and require hydrogen refueling infrastructure. I guess time will tell. In conclusion, EVs have many advantages including being environmentally friendly, having lower operating costs, being quieter, and having better performance. However, they also have disadvantages, 
using fossil fuel energy to charge the car, range anxiety, the insufficient current charging infrastructure, higher upfront cost, and a limited battery life. As with everything revolutionary, there are going to be challenges. With tens of billions of taxpayers' money invested, the viability of the auto industry depends on a successful conversion to an electric vehicle society. The question remains, will the current government's push for electric vehicles be too much, too soon? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps. My name is Bob Jones and I will see you in the next video.